Welcome inside the Barbara and Scott Arena. Today, the Ottawa West Gold Knights are practicing and preparing for their best of seven first round series against the Castleman Vikings. Today, we're going to recap this wonderful season and preview the playoffs. on the power play. His second of the game, Golden Knights lead six to two. Drops it at the blue line for a push. He cuts towards the net on his back end, centers it across, and Gallivan scores! Furland, breakaway chance, back end, forehand, big save, though! Right side shoots, deflected wide, rebound, scores! Justin Jamer! At the left circle, shoot saved by Griffin. Rebound, he scores! Nolan Marshall on the rebound, ends it in overtime. On. McKinnon waits, shoots, scores! Scores! McKinnon off the post and in. Andrew McKinnon has tied the game at two. Second of the game for the defenseman, Kyle Corrigan. Centers it to Brown, he shoots, he scores! Okay, nobody goes in our home. That's where we gotta stop the bleeding. Dante DiCario with Mason Deacher. We're your Ottawa West Golden Knights broadcasters. The Golden Knights finished off the CCHL Tier 2 season, third in the standings, 29 wins, 13 losses, and two in extra time. And Mason, are you just thrilled with this team's performance this season? Yeah, unbelievable, Dante. When you look at this team, 16 new rookies. 13 returning players and two acquisitions. Noah Hames from the Ember Panthers and also Miguel Daou who played two seasons ago with the Clarence Beaver Beavers and this team just gelled together. Is there anybody that surprised you so far this year? Michael Galvin for sure. 25 goals in his first year at the Ottawa West Golden Knights and also Nolan Marshall with 42 points. Those two guys played on the line with Max Bush. How about somebody that stepped things up defensively this year? Kyle Corrigan mobile defenseman pinches in at the right time on the defensive side you can get into the attacking zone and also two two goal games this season for him yeah. how about justin jamer who came down from the navin grads point a game player since joining the team in october what has he meant to this team well first off he's a big body he can lay out the body at any point and at any time during the hockey game and then whenever he has to put that puck in the back of the net right in front you'll get that opportunity too he works the corners a lot very big guy and worked on his speed in the offseason this is also the first time in cchl tier 2 history for the golden knights that they've had two goalies with a goals against average under three and a safe percentage above 900 how big has goaltending been this year oh it's been absolutely tremendous from the Golden knights you look at miguel Daou and also mitchell bound those guys really impress us with their game on and off the ice. Those two have been tremendous and we could expect them more down the way heading to the playoffs. And so now Steve Sutton talks about how happy he is to be a part of this team and why he's so happy to come to the rink every single day and be a part of such a great group. Yeah, you know what, they, they, a lot of them played together uh, growing up in double A, played against each other and with each other and they, they, they're a close-knit bunch. Uh, they're young. And their, their first experience in the playoffs is coming up uh, this Sunday, which is going to be a new experience for a lot of the boys. But uh, I think we're, you know we got we had a good two-hour practice tonight. We'll have another video session on Thursday and a two-hour practice. So we'll hopefully be ready for Sunday. Well, you got to break down every zone. Basically, you have to be able to. Get, you can't spend a lot of time in our zone. We got to be able to get out. Uh, we've got to be able to get into get through the neutral zone with speed, get the puck deep on their D, and make sure we got a high guy to take away their uh, their breakout pass that comes through the middle. 
These teams have met in now three of the last four seasons. And you know what? Wait a minute. We've got our lucky hats. Let's put those on for this preview. I've got my lucky. I got my lucky Tukon. Mason's got his lucky hat. Now let's talk about this series. The Ottawa West Golden Knights taking on the Castleman Vikings. Golden Knights finish third in the standings. The Vikings finish second. I think compared to the last couple of seasons that this is going to be a much closer series. Do you agree? I think so, Dante. It could go the distance. It could go in six or it could go in seven. But in the last two series between the Castleman Vikings and the Ottawa West Golden Knights, they've been swept in 2015 and 16 and 2016 and 17. It's going to be a very interesting series between these two two top teams in this league. Mason and I started with the Ottawa West Gold Knights in the 2015-16 season. We saw the Gold Knights get swept, and then the next season in 16-17, we saw them swept again. And that year, the Gold Knights had a powerhouse team. Finished the year with 39 wins, first in the whole league with 80 points. This year, they're a little bit of an underdog. Do you like that? Yeah, I, obviously I do, Dante, because going into the season, nobody expected the Ottawa West Gold Knights to hit 29 wins only four veteran guys on this team about three comeback players for the Ottawa West Golden Knights and right now with 16 rookies on this team they have a lot of chemistry with this team and so now the moment that all the fans I've been waiting for Mason what's the key to winning this series for the Golden Knights they got to be physical in Castleman's barn they need to really roll as a team. For Steve Sonnen is obviously, you gotta roll all four lines, gotta play some specific players. You gotta look for Michael Gallivan yeah. and also Nolan Marshall because they were leading the team in points. Michael Gallivan, 25 goals on the season, 42 points for Nolan Marshall. And one big guy for the Ottawa West School Knights is Justin Jamer. Since coming from the Navigrad to CCHL Tier 2, he has developed this game very well. And so how about for the Castleman Vikings? They finished second in the league for a reason but they don't have the powerhouse team like they did in the last three years. So, Mason, who do you got to watch out for on that Vikings team? Well, you got to watch out for Joe Hunt, top league member for the Castleman Vikings, around a 60-point season for him. He's been absolutely tremendous. Very weird to not see Sebastian Plant for the Castleman Vikings. So you got to rely on Joe Hunt. you got to rely on your goaltending. You're also going to have Brady Cucci back in your lineup ever since being injured, and you only played three games near the end of the season. And so now we'll talk with Ottawa West Golden Knights captain Daniel Stratus because he's been in this situation before. He was swept with the Golden Knights in the 2016-17 season and he thinks that his experience will help make sure that this does not happen this season with a younger team. Um, we got to play physical. Um, that's their game, so I think we got to match that back again and use our skill and, uh, speed and skill. Greasy, greasy goals. Gotta get the puck out, like, a lot of chipping off the glass, some alley-oops, whatever. Like, we just gotta get out of our zone and then go work in their zone. Very proud. I, I never thought we'd be third overall in the league, so extremely proud. No, if you played against the Castleman Vikings in three consecutive years now, yeah. you've got a lot of experience against them. How is that going to help this younger group? Uh, you know what? I just tried to let them know that they're going to try to intimidate us and uh, can't uh, get scared of them. we got to hit back, take their hits, and not be... Uh, jumping away from them and stuff, so yeah, we gotta capitalize on our chances, and it will be good. Game one of the best of seven quarterfinal series against the Castleman Vikings goes down Sunday, March 3rd, and then on Monday, March 4th, the Ottawa West Golden Knights will play game two here inside the Barbara and Scott Arena. Mason, the Golden Knights need Miguel Dao to step it up. He's going to be the key to this series. Yeah, he's going to have to make some big saves in his own crease, even kick the pad down. We saw a tremendous save two weeks ago against the Castleman Vikings on Thursday. Although, Also another key is cross ice passes and yeah. stay out of the penalty box. Another thing to note is how the Golden Knights have just one victory inside the J.R. Brisson Sports Complex since the start of the 2015-16 season. Mason, what's the verdict? How do you win in that barn? They're going to have to stay very physical and on their feet throughout the whole time. So take big checks, and also when you get an opportunity in the offensive zone, just drive towards that goal. Look for that big opportunity. And so we'll see you on Sunday, March 3rd, when the Golden Knights take on the Castleman Vikings for game one of the best of seven series. For Dante DiCari and Mason Dietrich, this is your playoff preview.